Bill Cosby found guilty of sexual assault in retrial. He's facing up to 10 years in jail on three counts. He was quiet throughout the trial and then he had an outburst at the end, but um, I mean, what what are your immediate thoughts? What's your reaction? What are you, uh, in terms of what this means? You know, for this culture and his I, legacy. I, I, I never liked Bill Cosby. Okay. Never liked him. I, I won't go into why, but you know, I've always felt he was a a piece of shit. All right. Okay. And um, too often, when black folk are accused of things, mm -hmm. we we jump to their defense because we want to say it's some conspiracy crap. You know, I don't go for that crap. Mm -hmm. You know, cause I, I know about this man. Okay, I've I've, I've got inside mm -hmm. information. But here's the thing: these women, a lot of these women, mm -hmm. that's the other uh, thing that surrounds this whole issue. When you say things, you get attacked because it may come off like. You're attacking the women. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's always a, a, a difficult thing because I'm going to tell you something. Women in this world are exploited, sexually exploited, and, and, and they've been mistreated, and, and they've never been given a fair hearing when they try to address this legally, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that's the shame. But the thing is, once again, Bobby Dick said the universal God, mm -hmm. you can run, but you can't hide. Um, he was paying a lot of these women off, okay? Mm -hmm. The check stopped. At a certain point, uh, the secretary died, the check stopped. And some of these women, I mean, it's like, Hey, look, you were getting paid. If you had an issue, you should have brought it up a long time ago. Right. Okay. But now we're in this Me, Me Too movement. It's, 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 it's now people, you know, you're going to pay because this is the zeitgeist now. Mm -hmm. And, and it's just like, uh, I don't feel Tyson at the time, but with Tyson, Maybe he wasn't guilty in what they found him guilty for, but he was mm -hmm. paying for his reputation, things he did before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but sooner or later, this stuff catches up with you. Too often, a lot of these guys get away with it, but now those days are gone. And, um, but you just hope that whoever is leveling charges against anyone, that they're not exploiting the consciousness of this whole thing. Right. Well, I mean, uh, well, it's funny. I'm reading New York Daily News. Their initial report was just Twitter reactions. So Lisa Bloom, the lawyer, you know, she she was, um, you know, saying this is uh, thank thank you, Montgomery County prosecutors and the police, Andrea Costin, Janice Janice Dickerson, all the women who testified, all 60 who have spoken out about Cosby all who have supported him, the day has come. So this is Me Too, this is Time's Up. Um, even Terry Crews, he's saying accountability, um, you know, and hopefully more people will come out and speak up about these, these being victimized. Now the, the cat's out of the bag on this Cosby thing. So I, I think It was a very calculated risk. He used OJ's lawyer and his tactic. He went through a lot of lawyers. Like a lot of people took, worked on the case and bailed out. And uh, well, it took a different tactic also. It took, I think it, it might have been. It might have hurt him to to say that uh, this this go around to actually attack the accusers. The well, way what happened is before they didn't want this incident. To be acknowledged. Right. Okay. But then the lawyer's tact in his defense was okay, we'll let it come out so that we can show 
that this is just an attempt by Constan mm -hmm. to exploit Cosby for his money. Right. Um, this was consensual, and, and and now she's saying it wasn't. And the exploiting, she want to say that it's well. In the, the defense is that this is all part of a winch hunt, right? Lynching and all this kind of stuff, but it didn't work. No, it was completely backfired. The zeitgeist has changed now. It's yeah. Me too. See, when he first went to court, there was that. Oh thing no! That, not 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 Cosby, not the Jello pudding guy. Yeah, the the, the, the thing was, was once again. His he said, she said. You know. Yes, it's like, you know, yeah, that cop did this to me. Yeah. Well, so so many, but then, you know, the thing is, if, I mean, in terms of the Me Too wave, and, 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 you know, look, I'm not not saying, again, anybody who's been victimized by a man who was a powerful man who was put in a fear of, of losing job or face or even making certain things public, we're not, we're not going after that at all. But the question is still there to be asked in terms of this whole thing came out, came about through social media, this, this video of Hannibal Burris mentioning it again and then having people Google and saying, wow, okay, yeah, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, this was a big um, scandal that somehow went away. It, it, it fell out of favor within our consciousness, but and a lot of it had to do with the constant. In this trial, it came to light that she took 3.8 million dollars, um, but but she also agreed. Cosby was, had to testify to the DA in Montgomery County at the time um, as part of the, the settlement. It's like, okay, well we're not. We're not going to go after you, but you have to testify so that there can be the civil suit that allow the payment. His lawyer at the time who made the deal was like a verbal agreement, gentleman's agreement, so to speak. Sexist term right there, gentleman's mm -hmm. agreement. Um, okay, well, okay, so you're going to make this go away. Now, his lawyer died, and the original DA went away. The new person came in, and a lot of people said he's trying to make a name for himself by bringing this back. And there was a loophole that allowed Constant not only to take the money, but not, but also testify against him. So it's almost like a double jeopardy in a sense yeah. um, that got him busted because virtually every other accusation was literally he said, she said, without any sort of deposition in place about what occurred, and statutes of limitations had gone by. Yeah, this is so, 2004, right? It was literally, um, I think, a, about six months left for them to actually do something. It was literally, this was, you know, like they went to California, they said, this is this is the only place, and you know, depending how you look at it, a master of DA, or somebody who's out to make a name for himself, yeah. but but if it's universal God, then, then perhaps this is the justice that 2018, 21st century is about. You, you can't use your power to take advantage of women. Um, Weinstein, you know, so you're, you, if we're taking it away from a race and we're just looking at where we are today, 80 year old man, visually impaired, he's going to spend some jail time, possibly the rest of his life. How does that, well, how does that add up to his legacy? Yeah, that's the other thing, you know, uh, we attach so much to images. Mm -hmm. We make people I icons. Icons are all about making humans gods. Mm -hmm. And that's a tricky thing, brother, because the thing is, because you're a star, mm -hmm. doesn't mean you defecate on the toilet like anybody else and your doo-doo doesn't stink. These are human beings. Mm -hmm. they're, they're flawed human beings, and they do some, some stinky, funky stuff. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, they get caught up in the stardom and think these people don't do that. Mm -hmm. Bill Cosby is a, 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 just a, a person who was a, a human, a star. Right. He was no better than anybody else. He was a star. We loved him as America's dad. But I guess in a way what 
um, when you, you, you say um, MF, mm -hmm. that's what your dad is, right? Okay. Not. Well, you, you've been saying it all along. You're not a big Bill Cosby fan. I, yeah, I told you before this even happened. Yeah. Well, I, I worked you know, on the Cosby I'm not going to jump on, 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 on this man because of this. And, 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 and oh, he's jumping on him now. Because, no, no, I, no, I'm not going there. I never liked Bill Cosby. I never liked him because, first of all, he's a hypocrite. He was a hypocrite. Well, it, well, it, it definitely. I would say sixty accusations. It's proved itself, and you know, clearly, clearly, man, clearly, somebody yeah. who's promoting what, 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 family what values me, Mike, is, and is, is yeah. hanging out. Somebody the black does thing. something, and you black, you're not supposed to say anything. That's what kills me. That's why we can't get anywhere because yeah, I understand we have to keep things in the family, mm -hmm. but if we are not honest with each other about what's really holding us back and we just want to point fingers and say the white man's doing this to us it's no no what are we doing to ourselves mm -hmm. that's why a lot of times they want to throw at us black on black crime that kind of stuff you know uh, you're talking about police brutality police killing but what about you killing they always want to throw that at us it's legit though right The hypocrisy. So, the truth. The truth comes out. Every everybody's got to pay the price, either here or in the afterlife. You know, um, it's it's, uh, it's a little sad, but um, yeah, eighty year old man going to jail for things that happened 20, 30 years ago. But the same day that this is announced, they announced the uh, Golden Gate killer was uh, found through DNA. Somebody who yeah, had raped man. and assaulted, and it turned out he was a police officer, raped, yeah. assaulted, murdered people for periods of 10, 20 years. So it's it's a new day, you know. Um, what happens in the dark will come out in the light. Come out in the light, brother, yeah, you know. You know, be, care be careful. Um, use, use your power. And I, you know, I don't want to sound holier than thou. Um, I don't want no one. I know that son of a gun. Same way the brother said, "Hey, I've been trying to get on." I know that guy. He talking all like a, that, you know. You, you know? going to confess? <laughs> Wait, what did you do? You apologize? Who? You, Miss Miss Cornbread. Yeah. Miss Cornbread, 1972. Is there? If if you have any stories on Charles Woods, please let us know first, so that we can pay you to stay quiet. Because we're trying we're trying to grow. Our legacy. We don't want to dismantle, be dismantled, like nothing we ever did to empower black people means nothing because of this man's actions, specifically this man. One one person can bring down a whole house, you know. David Colas. So you know, I'll, I'll I'll hang on to my Cosby tapes and autographs and things. I think I think. Um, it, it definitely puts a stain on your legacy, and um, you know, it's, I guess it, what happens when you live a long life? You just have more time for people to find but out. But you know what happens? Your dirt. Anytime, you know. If Cosby had died at 62, he'd been the greatest human but, being yeah, ever lived. The thing is, um, this he'd have been, he'd have been oh, a symbol for right people. Right away, you're gonna have people. Oh man, that's this BS, man. They went after him. He tried to buy NBC. They didn't want blah, 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 blah. Same thing happened with um, Alex Haley and Roots. Yeah. Oh, they went after him. He wrote Roots. Why they want to say all that? Now they want to dog Alex. Oh, no. Well, hey. But he had it. Well, see, all right. Okay, so here's the thing. When the allegations were there, mm -hmm. a lot of us, including myself, came to Cosby's defense because it's like, look, it's his word against theirs. Let him have his day in court. Right. Right. Even as the accusations piled up, a lot of us. Okay. Well, you know, look. look this is just hearsay. May is not looking good. Milk smells a little sour. He's had his day in court, and you can say what you want. 
he had two two trials. All the money in the world. It wasn't a witch hunt, was it? I mean, I think now it is what it is, and I think I think um, if anything, it's liberating for those who were victimized or felt they were taken advantage or exploited by this man, and and hopefully we won't see the double standard of justice if the Montgomery County prosecutors were this aggressive against Cosby and those accusations. I would hope that those who are equally or worse also are forced to a tribunal or day in court. They're, they have to defend themselves and there's legal repercussions because I think the thing that bothers me most about this whole wave of where we are is that so many people get tried in the court of public opinion and with no evidence, just hearsay, and we're forced, we're forced to sort so of gauge our... When you're our saying people get tried in the court of public opinion, mm -hmm. what causes that? Well, inf information is spreading. How do you mean? I'm going to be the devil's advocate, yes, right? I'm we got caught up in the whole thing with Tawana Brawley. Yes. Right? Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here's a, a black girl who said some... Oh, white cops raped her. Right. Forcing cars, smeared feces on her. Yeah. We believed her. Yes. We jumped all over that because the it's public more. opinion of the, the, the people who... who were mm -hmm. supposedly the ones who victimized her. Yeah. We didn't have high opinions of them to begin with, right? Yes. So, right away, we were more ready to say they did it mm -hmm. than to give them their day in court. Yeah, but you also had white women saying that, drown their kids saying that black people... No, I'm not, I'm not, no. Let's I mean, stick with that, what I'm saying. Stick with Toronto? Right? Yes. That's going to continue to be a problem then in this age of instant gratification, social media. And Bill Cosby at the time, he helped put some money out for Tawana for, for uh, information. He put money because they were collecting money, you know. It, it's just... Yeah, well, uh, you know, to be told, Bill Cosby hung himself. He hung himself by agreeing to doing the deposition, you know, and going on record saying that he... Admitting, even though he did not stand trial, his words went against him. So, what I hate is that it tarnishes your generation. Mm -hmm. uh, because you, you know, everything that surrounded the Bill Cosby show, what that meant, and I know it, it hurts, it hurts. It hurts with OJ, it hurts. Mm -hmm. And, and, and um, we, we didn't feel OJ did it. We felt he. That evidence was planted. Yes. You know? It's tough. It's, it's tough when you see a, a continual cycle of black heroes being discredited and taken down. And, um, you know, they didn't leave it at a, at a mistrial. But, I mean, we're in a day and age now where Me Too, Time's Up, people are seeking justice. So all, all I'm saying is, you know, Harvey Weinstein, if... You know, all the people that are just as egregious, let's let's hope that there's not a double standard and that that we if we're in the process of pointing fingers and taking names and cleaning house, that we really clean house, you know. Um, well the hypocrisy also you know, is because the, in so the that, Weinstein case and the Bill Cosby case, how many people uh in in um in the job place? where they know what's, what the boss is getting away with. Yeah. How many people are turning a blind eye to what they know is going on? And that's that's the next that's the next move to see it extend beyond Hollywood into other places outside of show business, outside of the public eye that people feel they can stand up and whistleblow against this type of harassment. Because you know, you should not abuse your power in that right. way. Right. You know. But yeah, you know, and also Trump. Where where are those P tapes? 
And to put it very simple, we need to know how to call a spade a spade. <laughs> <laughs> it's been three days. 